Welcome to Predator. Talking about gaming, we will have to talk about Predator. And we want to talk about the evergreen skill on Amazon. Top 10 Amazon skill, only one gaming. That's the Helio 300. Yeah, I'll go get that right away, Jason. The beautiful Helios 300. Some may have seen it before, but they haven't seen it like this. This particular Helios 300 matters a lot because, unlike the others, this has a 240 hertz screen with a three millisecond response time. That sounds great. So if you want buttery smooth graphics with almost tear-free gaming, this is going to be the perfect laptop for you. Naturally, you've got all the latest specs from Intel as well as Nvidia, uh, now up to a 2070 Max-Q. You and, of course, our fourth gen Aeroblade 3D cooling. That will be one of our major focus is our thermal technology. So if you're looking for a new laptop to take you into the world of AAA gaming or fast refresh FPS joy, the Helios 300 is the perfect laptop. And to relatively that. thin and light as well. It is that. But the next one we're going to show you is not. Let's look at the 700. The Helios 700 is right over here, and it is quite the beast, Jason. Now oh. we want to look at the beast. Obviously, this is a much thicker laptop, and that's for a good reason. The unique thing on the Helios 700 is the keyboard. That, that's a famous one. I know about this sliding. This is the Hyperdrift keyboard, and it's quite special because, one, obviously you get this beautiful wrist rest, which is unique, really, to this laptop. And the most important second thing is that it gives you direct access to the cooling. This allows you to pull in more air for extreme overclocking to push your processor, push your GPU, and push your frame rates much higher. But uh, one, more, one more thing this time, it's a keystroke. That's right. WSAD on this keyboard are quite special because how they work is similar to an analog joystick. This means that in most games with an analog gamepad, you're able to move from zero to 100 incrementally. However, with most keyboards, you're either on or off. You're either walking or running. There is no in-between speed. But with our MagForce keys, you're able to do just that. And this time, we actually use optical technology to achieve that. That's right. An optical laser will keep track of how far down you're pressing uh, just to make sure that you have as much accuracy as possible. And while these are useful, we want to also give the gamers out there who like racing games a chance to try this as well, which is why we included our racing keys. These are similar to the MagForce keys, except these have a convex shape, which is more comfortable for long-term use, as well as a bit more travel distance. The travel distance will give people the real feeling, a, a wonderful sense of how and what they are doing. It's true. With most racing games, obviously, you're turning the wheels for longer periods of time. And just like the keys, we wanted to give a bit more key press on the downward motion so that it gives you at least the impression of driving, a, a, driving with a wheel. And for that, we want to see what Team Envy has to say. I'm Jane, gamer, coach, and streamer for both Team Envy and the Dallas Fuel. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually used to play on a gaming laptop myself. This laptop, the Helio 700, is a dramatic improvement over any gaming laptop that I've ever used. There's usually quite a few trade-offs that you have to make in order to actually get that portability. And a lot of those big compromises that used to be deal breakers are no longer the case with the Helio 700. For a long time, gaming laptops have been stuck to 60 hertz, but this has an 144 hertz for competitive gamers and an absolutely gorgeous display on it. So I just finished the play test and ran the computer through its paces and honestly really impressed. I was running Overwatch at Ultra Graphics and it was easily maintaining 300 FPS, extremely low input lag. The monitor looked fantastic. Audio quality, again, great. They've managed to fit in a NVIDIA 20X RTX Super Graphics chip into this computer and they have quite a cooling system on it as well. Not only did it perform at 300 FPS, ultra graphics, but it still had room left in the tank for more performance. The Helio 700 seems to be built with streaming in mind. The RTX encoder that they actually have on the graphics card allows you to offload some of that streaming process to one part of the card where the rest of the GPU and CPU is going to be focused on actually playing the game or whatever else you're doing on the computer. 
Now, if you're not so much on the streaming side and more interested in editing, rendering, uploading videos for something like YouTube, then the 10th generation Intel Core processor is making that stunningly fast. I'm super excited for you to be able to get your hands on this laptop. And I know that once we start traveling with Team Envy and Dallas Fuel in season four of the Overwatch League, this is what's gonna be in my backpack and I'm gonna be using it to get the job done. On top of the thermal fan technology that we implemented, this time we actually use PowerGem. That's right, we, taught, we introduced the PowerGem not too long ago, but we've now implemented it into the Helio 700 itself, and the results are really quite amazing and Let's impressive. look at some of the benchmark that we have done. Sure, we have that right here. The first to notice is, uh, before we jump into the chart, before, I wanted to mention that because we used the power gem, we were actually able to reduce the size of the chassis itself for the Helio 700. Beta form factor. That's right, we were able to reduce that by just about 10 millimeters, but even compared to the latest technology, which is liquid metal grease, we were able to maintain significant advantage in Cinebench performance while keeping at a lower temperature. So we'll be able to provide better performance, cooler temperature, and PowerGen become the latest technology. Exactly, Jason, and that's really important because as games become more advanced, uh, and as gamers uh, utilize more programs and streaming and other things, core performance is gonna become more and more a necessity, making the Helio 700 really one of the most landmark machines of its time. And it's not just a laptop that we're gonna talk about today. We also have desktop that we are willing to share with you, Orion 9000. Let's look at the video. The desktop is actually the flagship, the monster machine for gamers. That's right. With our Orion 9000 series, we wanted to kind of remake and reforge uh, with a few different changes. And the first of those, Jason, is the tempered glass side panel right here. No, no more muzzles. Totally transparent. It's, uh, it's very important for gamers to have a look at exactly what's going on, especially when you've got all the colors and the RGB and the ARGB going off. And this isn't just a normal side panel, it is EMI shielded as well. That's very important. Do we want to emphasize it a little bit more on that? Of course. Uh, for many people out there who are, say you're a streamer, your microphone will pick up interference and gray or white noise. Like uh, zzz, exactly. Zzz, zzz. If you have a lot of electricity that's not shielded, or if you have a lot of electricity that's going from the system to the outside because your case isn't shielded, you will pick up that white noise. Well, that PRP. also protects some of the chips inside the system. It does. It helps to keep a lot, of, uh, a lot of EMI from going either inside or outside from other things uh, interacting with the components. But that is really just the first of the changes. We actually darkened all the components because why not? If you're going to make everything look as good as possible, might it as well. It looks better. It looks beautiful now. And uh, now you can see all the CPUs and you can see the GPUs and GeForce RTX all very visible there. And that's not the only change. Obviously, if we're making these changes, we want to advance the cooling as well. That's and one of our key focus on our gaming machine, thermal technology. And in order to do that, what we've done is we've created the Predator Frostblade. Similar how our laptops utilize the Aeroblade technology, with Predator Frostblade, we took it a step up. The Orion 9000 itself and actually uses three of these. Uh, and if, uh, I will explain them very quickly. Basically, what we have is a static pressure fan, uh, using our bionic fan blade approach, similar to our Airblades does. And it also supports ARGB lighting, which uh, anybody who's played with ARGB or RGB... Fun. Yeah, exactly. Fun. It's just for fun, but it looks really nice as well. And the components of the fan itself are actually very high. There's not any of that cheap plastic or other components. It's all... Now we are talking about mechanical engineering. Exactly. You have high-quality metal, you have high-quality uh, rubbers that are utilized inside 
the fan blade itself so that it can create as much airflow as possible uh, through the intake and the exhaust of the machine. And we actually did uh, the benchmark and show some data here. Compared to the previous uh, models that we used with the Orions, we saw a 16% increase in CFM, which is uh, cubic feet per minute, and we also uh, raised the static pressure of the fan as well. A static pressure. Explain that a little bit more to people. Sure. Uh, if you're using, say, a regular airflow, like high airflow fan in your system, the minute anything either gets in front of uh, or behind that fan, your cubic feet per minute will slow down and you don't have good airflow anymore. The answer to that is static pressure fans. With these fans, they will continue to pull high amounts of airflow even though you have components or other things in front of or behind that fan. So if you're able to maintain high airflow and static pressure, you have a good fan on your hands. That would be a wonderful performance. And that's exactly what the Orion 9000 brings to the table. That sounds wonderful. But let's not forget about a new di di display that we are coming out with. This is the Predator X25. And Acer, for me, Predator has always done great with their monitors, whether it's been curved or flat. Why is it number one in the world for gaming monitor? And for good reason. We're always trying to push the envelope in terms of our displays to see just what we can do with them. And the X25 is no different. This is a 360 hertz eSports G-Sync gaming monitor with quite a few bells and whistles that I want to go into as well. Yes, please, go ahead. All right, the first of these is the adaptive light technology. And with this technology... Adaptive light. Yeah, adaptive light. And how this works, say you have uh, playing a game with red or green or blue on the screen, it will project that same color onto the back, maybe onto the wall or whatever is behind the display, so that you're able to see, be kind of immersed in your environment. More immersive feeling. But beyond that, it actually is shown to reduce the amount of eye strain as well. Oh, I actually helpful to your eyes. Exactly. And another feature of the adaptive light technology is that, uh, say if you uh, download RGB light sense, you can actually make use of our music mode. Uh, and if you're That's playing fun. music, Another fun. yeah, it's fun to have. So if you're playing music, the lights will actually go along uh, with whatever you're listening to as well. That sounds great. Uh, but the last thing that really helps with this is uh, three additional features. They are called light sense, proxy sense, and color sense. And how these work is basically based on the environmental lighting in the room, uh, they will adjust the contrast and the brightness. So you will uh, be able to uh, uh, detect the environment to adjust the lighting degree. Yes, it will detect the amount of lighting in the room and it will adjust them based on uh, fitting exactly what it thinks is ideal for you. And those are adjustable as well. So if you prefer slightly brighter, you can change that uh, default setting. So for people to play games for a long time, it's actually a very good device that people will be able to have ultimate. Extremely fast and yes, quite soft on the eyes as well. Wonderful experience. And it's getting late. It is, Jason. Why don't we get a drink? That sounds very good to me. And I think we have something perfect for that as well. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce you a new energy drink. This is the Predator, Predator Shot. That's right. The Predator Shot is full of vitamins and minerals. It also has uh, vitamin B inside and lutein, which is actually quite good for the eyes. You know, it's a good time for us just to cheer it up. Sounds good to me. Cheers. Cheers, Jason. Ah, how do good. you like it? I love it. Well, after drinking, after have the drink, we'll be talking about Comfort. Comfort's extremely important. Obviously, every gamer uses a chair. No matter, and what they probably don't have is a massage chair. Wait, everybody has a gaming chair, but this one is actually very different. It's quite unique. It is a, like we said, it's a Predator gaming chair with Osim. And it's, yes, it's obviously a gaming chair, but what makes it different is that it actually has two Bluetooth speakers in the head area. So and it's a music chair as well. Exactly. Like you can listen to music, you can utilize your, the speakers inside so it. So you, you will be able to do massage like this one. One touch, you will start to roll. Yeah, you can see it moving right there. And it can massage from the neck all the way down to the waist. And if you do want to recline, can re recline up to 145 degrees. So it's actually a gaming chair. You can also use it in your office and when you need to relax. You can do all those things, and it actually works extremely well 
with another one of our machines, the Thronos Air. So you will be able to squeeze it, move it inside the Thronos. That's right. By the Thronos Air being extremely moddable means that you can put any chair inside. So why not add the Predator Gaming Chair with Awesome for perfect relaxation and just enjoyment? Sounds wonderful. 